Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right, I'm going to answer a couple of questions I found stragglies within my comments about the Iraqi dinar. But then I want to go ahead and touch on the comments under the first uh, Nasera video that I did. It was uh, from a 2005 documentary. I did the first half of it. So let's go ahead and respond to your comments. Because this is a legitimate one from 2005. And I was telling people, man, this thing has been around for a long time. Nobody wanted to believe me. And I said, back in 2005, you understand that Bill Clinton was a good guy? <laughs> and people were like, and Dr. Scott's like, you're crazy. You must be sick in your head. Anyways, I showed you guys uh, what he had to say. So it's just pretty funny. So let's go ahead and get into this. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. All right, let's go ahead and get to these questions, these stragglers. <laughs> Hippie Almighty, answer this. Who appointed Al Sadani? He was not voted in by the Iraqi people. How did he get the PM position? Uh, for the PM, usually that's parliament has to go ahead and vote them in. Uh, candidates are nominated, and then when somebody is selected, then it's up to the MPs from the parliament. They vote on who's going to be the uh, prime minister. And understand that the prime minister's job is more powerful than the Iraqi president. It's not like here in the United States where the president is the end-all, be-all. Over there, the prime minister is. And then the president's like the vice president. His job is just to sit there, look good, and go on diplomatic missions. He doesn't do a whole lot of anything else. But yeah, it's the uh, MPs that vote in the PM. <laughs> Can you please clarify which dinar notes will be accepted for the revaluation? I've read that any notes with Saddam's face will not be accepted. Thanks. Yeah, those are no longer legal tender. They're obsolete, the Saddam Hussein notes. So these are the notes that are currently being used. So any of these notes right here, most people have the 25,000 dinar right here. You'll see some people that have this, uh, is this the 10,000 one right here? And the 5,000 one. So yeah, any of these right here, these are the good Iraqi dinar notes. I hope that answers your question. Pimpy Almighty, answer this. What is the current Iraqi dinar note count? How much dinar is currently in circulation? Well, those are both very, very good questions. But the truth of the matter is nobody knows how much is in circulation. You got to remember that there was a flood that destroyed a lot of the currency that was in the bank. Then you had ISIS come over and they confiscated a ton of the Iraqi dinar. And so nobody really knows how much is in circulation. Nobody knows what the dinar note count would be. Yeah, your guess is as good as anybody else's. So Denny says, how does anybody know where you can find news versus drama? Pimpy is now into drama. Please respond to this one, Pimpy. Why can't we get news or is there a channel you recommend versus the drama? I do know another channel that has three subscribers that said your name. Can you dedicate a whole video to that one? I certainly can. You should have left the name of that channel and I would be more than happy to go back and do what I need to. It just depends on what the individual says. I don't discriminate against the number of subscribers that they have. It just depends on what they say. As far as news is concerned, I'll recommend Redacted. Go check them out. Man, imagine how much more info we all would have regarding the IQD if all content creators in the dinar space came together and pulled their resources for the sake of disseminating accurate information. Well, that would be, that would suck. And let me tell you why. Because only one of us has actual resources. The rest they make up. It would be nice to get together and share information. But you understand for them, it's a business. A legitimate business. That's why they have Patreons. That's why they offer you all kinds of weird services. And taking vitamins and all this other crap. So they're not going to share time on a video with other content creators. In fear of losing their subscribers. Me, I didn't care. I offered many a times to do videos with them. 
heck, when I had my other channel, I was way above him when it came to subscribers. How I got to 78,000 real quick and I was on my way to 80 in a real short period of time. But to me, it wasn't about the number of subscribers. To me, it was about getting out truthful information. So I never had a problem with talking to other content creators. Just they're not going to talk with me just in fear of looking ridiculous. And so you don't want Frank singing for two hours? <laughs> Pimp is drunk. Sweetie, as long as I've been drinking, trust me, I can drink nonstop almost all day long and won't even feel drunk. I don't know if I can get drunk, to be honest with you. Pimp, why are you putting folks down? In case you weren't paying attention, I was responding to her putting me down. She was just easier target. I'm better at what I do. All right, so I put this video out. It was the first half of this video. I found this a while back and I thought, man, this is interesting. Because when you listen to these people back then, now remember, this is way before YouTube and everything else. So they had chat groups that people used to go in and they'd talk about Nisera and crap like that. And then they would have these meetings where they would get together, whether it was at KFC or <laughs> anywhere else. This first wave of believers, Bill Clinton was the good guy, not a bad guy. And they were waiting for UFOs to pick them up. As a matter of fact, when you listen to them in a group meeting, they're talking about who is commanders and who's not the commander of the ships. I know it's real kooky stuff, but it's still kooky today. The funny thing is when you go out there and you listen to these people talk about this movement, every one of them claims up and down that they've either worked with Trump or they have a special intel person that's working on the inside. And I think it's funny because it's the same thing with the Dinar community. You know, whether it's a Mark Z has Mr. C and then you have Melanie has Sandman and angel ones out there and walking stick for Frank. It's like all these people got these so-called Intel people. And then when they say, I'm going to share some Intel with you, it's never Intel. Intel is usually information that is not accessible by the public. And that person is supposed to be giving you something special, not something I could find on the internet. Okay. So I think it's funny. And the same thing with Nasira. I did speak about it. I did videos about it, but just like the Iraqi Dinar, my approach was a lot different than other people's. I went through that list trying to find things that I could prove without using those kooky stories like even though Trump lost the election, he still has a military for 90 days, that kind of crap. Oh, he showed up in Davos and Air Force One. Oh, my goodness. He's still the president. Nope. I've debunked so many of these videos. It's not even funny. When people are coming out with the QFS, I thought it was bullshit. I found out it's a real deal, Hollyfield. I went to look for it and I found it. And then when I shared it with everybody, you know, know what they said. That's not the real one. That's the one that the dark hats put out there to confuse everybody. Okay, well, I can't compete with that. So, you know, it's funny. They're just mad because it isn't all part of that kooky story. They love for things to remain in the dark so they can continue to make up bullshit is what it is about these stories that they come up with. The QFS and you have to have a fifth dimension and you have to have, you have to have a good soul or it's not going to read your readings and you can't get your blessings and all this other crap. That's not how the QFS system works. So let's go ahead and go down to comments. Linda says, thank you, Pimpy. You are very welcome. The Q idiot. I love this one. I heard they had to move their meeting place back in the day from the KFC because of the sewer backup. Yes, that was what the problem was. That is funny. The irony. Yeah. But you know what blows my mind is all these people swear they do deep research. But if you ask them anything about first wave movement, Nobody can answer any questions. That's why you see me in the video asking out Dr. Young or whatever the hell his name is, Dr. Scott. He's like, Bill Clinton never was a good guy. I could tell this guy has never done a deep dive. And apparently his so-called intel never told him that there were other Nasera people way before him. It's, it's funny. This is painful to watch. I'm sorry, sweetie, but people, I've been telling people, look, I support those things on the list. I think that's a real movement. But all these kooky stories, you don't need them. Okay, nobody needs them. It's not necessary. Because if everybody got behind a movement in which we just ask for those things, or I shouldn't say ask, but demand the things that are on that list, that is a real movement. We don't need kooky stories to go along with it. <laughs> Why, you ain't on board? I think with a lot of people that sh saw this for the first time, I got comments saying that, you know, that really sucked. I was mad at you, but I was happy to see it. I've been teetering anyways on whether or not to continue following it. It just, it's never ending. Nope. Apparently not because it's never ending going all the way back to the early, if not before 2000s. And then people have been waiting. 
if you remember, they told people that this October, back in 2000, now the, the, the documentary is from 2005, so this is actually before 2005, and they were telling people that they were going to be picked up by the UFOs in that October. It was going to happen in a few months, just like we hear all the time in the Iraqi Dinar community. What did Mal report yesterday? Oh, yeah, it's going to happen, you guys. Here comes the RV, and it never happens. People getting snippy in the beginning. This sounds like something out of Waco. Yeah, well, that thing is still going on now, except for the characters have changed, the heroes have changed, and the uh, wackadoodle stories have changed just a little. <laughs> Dear Lord, what the F are they talking about? They're talking about Nisera and how the UFOs are coming to get them and how their DNA is already on the UFOs and they're going to go have a whole other life. And you know what I mean? And, and they're waiting for the money from St. Germain and everything else. And that was supposed to happen. Back then, they didn't have a QFS. Back then, there wasn't a Trump. I mean, Trump was around, but he wasn't a hero. Actually, back then, the hero was Bill Clinton, which today's apparently the bad guy. Hot damn, somebody get Mr. C ready with his codes. We are almost there. We are all getting Taco Bell coupons as our Nasera payments in the first wave. <laughs> Mr. C and uh, Mark Z have been doing these hustles for a long time. It goes back decades for them. All the way back to what is it, the DKYX or whatever, how Diamond Push. Also, the spirit realms are helping us. Yeah, so it just depends on your belief on that. I do believe there's a spirit realm. There are people, though, that make up wackadoodle stories about that, and I'm not with that. But uh, I do believe there's an alternate realm. My DNA resonates with Pimpy Rich. <laughs> Love that, man. Sounds like that's where they practice the idea of the Redemption Center. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I think that's where they got it from. <laughs> There's Jen. Cracking up old-timey woo was very too woo. That'll put me off fried chicken for life. <laughs> I remember when your school debt was paid off. Surprised you, too. And was a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, I, that's how I got into the whole movement was... April and AJ were telling me about Santa surfing and how people were posting that their debt were being erased. So it just jarred my memory that I had something happening at the time with my student loan. I was supposed to follow up on it and I didn't. So as soon as we got done doing this uh, interview, I went to go check and on my credit, it was no longer there. It said paid in full, which I was surprised. Now, if anybody knows anything about credit reports, you can't trust a credit report. So I called the creditor. And I said, hey, I want to find out about my account. The lady said, it's been paid off. And I was like, what? Who paid it off? She goes, it's been paid off. I thought you paid it off. And I was like, no, it's $157,000. So no, that's how I got pulled into the whole Nasera thing. And I told people in that video, you know, you can call it what you want. Call it Debt Jubilee. Call it Nasera. All I know is that my debt was paid off. And then I started digging into the Nasera thing. When the heck did I just watch the first few minutes? Yeah, James, you know what I mean? <laughs> That is the first wave of Nazara people. They must be legit because they're having a meeting at old Colonel Sanders. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for that Colonel Sanders, I would not have believed them. That definitely sealed it for me. <laughs> it sounded like Waco, Texas. Yeah, pretty much. That's people like them or how Waco happened. I'm sorry, but Dr. Scott pretty much brings on turrets <laughs> every time I start to listen. That constant whiff cough thing and treating the audience as kidney garters. Then going bonkers, everyone calm down, makes me crazy. What the hell? Because he's like other content creators. If you ask them a question they can't answer, they feel like they're being cornered. And so they attack. I showed you guys the comments. I simply asked him a question. He goes, if you want to troll me, blah, 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 blah. Troll. Nobody's trolling you. He can't answer the question because he knows he's lying. I mean, come on. This guy's got books about this. He makes a ton of money. Like I said, for these people... You're messing with their money, man. This is their business. He's just like other people. They push the whole religious thing and mix it in with this to try to give them some legitimacy. As you can see here, Dr. Scott Young. And so he has this book out. I told you, this is like a business for them. That's why they won't allow themselves to get cornered. That's why they kick out people who have questions that they can't answer. It's all bullshit. And they know it's bullshit. Do you think watching Dr. Scott just brings out issues you already have? Yeah, my issues were, why can't you answer this question? That's what it brought out of me. Just like the Iraqi Dinar, I've studied the Nasera movement in and out. 
what is true, what isn't. I could speak more intelligently than most people out there about this movement because of all the research that I've done. Unbelievable. They were putting this years ago, but I never heard this side of the story. Wow. Yep. Nutty cookie. I'm telling you that I told people it's been around for a while. That's why I put in uh, as the title, when did everything change? You know, when they go from Bill Clinton is a savior, he's a good guy too. No, he's buried in the dirt, he's dead. And then there'll be a new person who will be the savior. And a whole new wave of people will believe this crap. This crap runs so deep. Yes, it does. The Q idiot. I call Melanie the doveness of oneness. <laughs> Early on in one of her videos, she of course thanked me. Yeah, that's funny. If she, That's how you know she doesn't know. Hey, maybe Vulture of... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just released a video today. I can't believe. I mean, I heard her bring in religion into her whole dinar thing. And she's claiming that she talks to God. And I'm like, no, she doesn't. Because why does she need intel? Why does she keep saying, I think this is going to happen? Like she said, I think God told me that the RV is going to happen on a long weekend. I was like, what do you mean you think? You know what I mean? Either you know, you don't know. She's full of crap. What she said was that uh, we were going to get the message from God through her. That's how we're going to find out about the Iraqi dinar. So she is the chosen one. When the hell is that? That was the first wave in the Sarah people. <laughs> Must be nice to have that much debt just gone. Expensive way for the government in power. Now to try and get one more person's vote. Sounds like the endowments for the universities just keep getting bigger. This particular administration won't get my vote. I don't know how the debt is gone. It just is. So I don't know who's responsible for my great blessing. That KFC guy, wow, really? I knew people would have fun with this. Jim Jones juice, exactly. That's a great way to put it. So anyone aware that many of the super soldiers speak of this? St. Germain, they appear to be highly fractured. MK'd, SRA kids, I don't know. I always feel sad for them. Everything they've been put through. Well, there's some of them I do believe are legitimate. They've been MK'd. Uh, if you listen to people like Kathy O'Brien, she told a story about going through the program with uh, Bush Jr. That his father put him in there. She said she felt really sorry for him. She was very saddened for him. This video is going to break a lot of hearts and dreams. Well, that's what happens when you get sucked into wackadoodle stories. Like the way he went out with a solar flare. <laughs> okay, that starts with some deep woo. Yep. This dude is like the white sports coat dude. Healed, healed, smacking heads off the stage. <laughs> Oh, geez, sounds like the weird Gordon on Telegram. Those people tell others that. <laughs> I challenge Dr. Scott often, especially his views on the Bible. Yeah, his views are definitely interesting. This man actually believes what he talks about. Little does he know he is hurting many other people with his videos. He is teaching that Nasera is coming soon, along with debt forgiveness for all and much more. Yeah, that's what they all are doing. Like I said, it's their money maker. So they don't care about the other people, nor the people that they talk to. It's about making that money. So why didn't anything happen yet? The video was years ago. That's the whole point. They just keep kicking the can down the road. <laughs> wow, what the F was that? That's the first wave of Nasera people for you. What bullshit, exactly. That's what I say. Colt much, Colt often. <laughs> Wells Fargo has a military ranch now. Congrats to them, I think. Q team are real from 1860. I saw the ships with the flag, which the creator sources. This I know personally. Wow. I only had them traced back to what? The late 1990s, early 2000s, and you got them go all the way back to the 1860s. Anyways, if you haven't seen it yet, I did release the second half of that. So you guys can go check it out and hear the rest of that story. It's a little kooky. It gives you an idea how these people have been doing a lot of this crap going back years. And I mean years. All they do is just change the stories a little bit and characters a little bit and uh, BS continues. Anyways, that's it for now. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm out.